There's a common thread that runs throughout performance automobiles such as Porsche and Ferrari. And that thread is what they learn from racing, they use on their street cars. I'm Michelle Rahal with the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. Today we take a look at the new Porsche 918 RSR which was introduced at the Detroit Auto Show recently. When Porsche began racing it had bouts of confusion as to whether or not it would race Grand Prix cars, which it did, or sports cars, which it definitely did. You could argue that the deep ancestor of the new 918 RSR would be the 550 Spider of the 1950s. I disagree. In my opinion, the 904 in the early 1960s was the beginning of building a streetcar just so you could race at ideology. Homologation. Build X number of cars and we'll let you race it. And they did, but only in certain categories. The true ground-up race cars Porsche produced would never see a street. These legendary cars would run from 1968 with the 908 long tail coupe to the incredible 917 in all of its iterations. Seen here is the 917 Le Mans style car and then the all-powerful 91730 Can-Am car and finally the last of the pure high-powered sports racers, the Porsche 956, which my friend Vern Schupen drove to win the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1983. The 962 was based on the 956, but run in America's IMSA series with changes in engines and safety. The push kept going for Porsche, but the more conventional type cars, such as the 911 GT1 from the 1990s, and this car was a natural to Porsche in its evolution of the 911 series, and you can see multiple examples of that on any given day at any Starbucks. But these type of cars weren't for driving to get an espresso. They were literally rolling test labs for Porsche. Now that brings us to the Porsche 918 RSR Hybrid. This version of the 918 was introduced at the Detroit Auto Show recently, and it represents the ideology that Porsche has actually put names on, Race Lab and Porsche Intelligent Performance. It's not so much that this is a radical design in an automobile. After all, you can see its heritage in this 908 from decades ago, but it's the hybrid technology that they've now employed. This is the classic build the street version in limited numbers and we'll race it to suck out the technology and improve it. Seen here is the 918 hybrid that was shown last year as a Spider. An impressive looking car, but it'll also take an impressive checkbook to own it. It doesn't have the flywheel system that's used in the RSR, but more conventional battery type technology. In Formula One, the KERS system or kinetic energy recovery systems used. Porsche's using technology with the RSR that's similar, but Mahmoud Ahmadinejad would be proud to own the device you see here. It's a flywheel system that stores its energy by receiving it from the front wheels under braking. Now what this does is gives the car an 8 second power boost from 563 horsepower to 767 horsepower. Quite a jump, although when they finally race this car it will really be interesting to see if the drivers glow when they get out. I mean, really, this looks like a small atomic particle reactor. It spins internally at 36,000 RPMs. Porsche's determined to advance these technologies into their street vehicles, and the real true test of Porsche, Ferrari, and other manufacturers is racing. It's where if something's going to go wrong, it will. Or if it goes right, you win. For the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com, I'm Michelle Rahal. Next episode, We'll take a look at the 2011 Aston Martin V12 Vantage, their smallest car and biggest engine. We like it. I like it. I want it.